How long did people used to live for? Back in the 1500s, records show that life expectancy in Europe was between 30 and 40 years old, and it stayed that way up to around 1800, according to evolutionary biologist Caleb Finch in his 2010 article published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. He also tells us that in ancient Greek and Roman times, it was as short as 20 to 35 years. Since the early 1800s, Finch writes that the life expectancy at birth has doubled in a period of only 10 or so generations. But after 1800, things improved with better health care, sanitation, immunizations, access to cleaner water, and people also ate better. Today, many people live past 100 years old. But have we reached the limit and seen the oldest person we will ever see? That's what we'll be looking at in this episode of The Infographic Show. Is the human max age 122? Jeannie Louise Clement was a French supercentenarian who has the longest confirmed human lifespan of 122 years, 164 days. She was born on the 21st of February, 1875, and passed away on the 4th of August, 1997, living all of her life in Arles, a city on the Rhone River in the province region of southern France. Clement outlived both her daughter and grandson, and she became the oldest living person on the 11th of January 1988 when she reached the ripe old age of 112. She was declared the oldest person ever on the 17th of October 1995 at 120, two years before she passed away. No one has ever passed her record-breaking lifespan of 122 years on the planet. So how did Clement do it? Was it a freak anomaly, or did she live in a way that helped her carry on for so much longer than the average life? Clement did come from a family of relatively long lifers, but nothing in comparison to her 100-plus marathon. And though she lived a comfortable and stress-free life, with a healthy appetite and a daily exercise routine, there was nothing particularly special about Clement's lifestyle. In fact, from the age of 21 to 117, she smoked cigarettes. According to Wikipedia, she smoked no more than two cigarettes per day, but it's not known whether she inhaled, which could make a difference to the effect on her health. So maybe she was a one-off. In a study published in October 2017 in the Journal of Nature, John Vig, a molecular geneticist at the Albert Einstein College of Medicine in New York, analyzed data on how long people have lived in recent decades across multiple countries. They discovered that lifespan in many of the countries had not changed much since 1980s, leading them to conclude that humans may have reached their maximum possible lifespan and that the plateau was about 115. However, there was some controversy surrounding the research of James Valpo a demographer at the Max Planck Odyssey Center on the biodemography of aging in Denmark, commented, I was outraged that Nature, a journal I highly respect, would publish such a travesty. Valpel argued that one of the databases lacked data for many of the years they studied and that they analyzed maximum age at death in a year rather than a maximum lifespan attained in a year. Siegfried Heckema, a geneticist at McGill University in Montreal, also concluded that there was no evidence that maximum human lifespan had reached a peak. When he and his team analyzed trends in the lifespans of the longest living people from the United States, the United Kingdom, France, and Japan. When looking at each year since 1968, they found that both maximum and average lifespans might continue to increase a long way into the foreseeable future. But even if that is the case, we only have an example of one person who has lived past 120, so the odds are still very low. As our technology advances, can we increase the length of our lives? Scientists have managed to alter the DNA of small species of worms, mice, and flies to increase lifespan. And though it may be possible, According to James Valpel, the director of the Max Planck Institute for Demographic Research, attempting the same procedure on humans is still a long way off, and even then we may only grab a few more years. But during our research, we found a solution that may turn all of this on its head. And that takes us to the realm of artificial intelligence, more commonly known as AI. There are some people out there who believe it will someday be possible to transfer a person's consciousness into a new host body or even into a host robot body that could go on forever. In Altered Carbon, a recent Netflix series where human consciousness has been digitized and the body no longer matters, one character explains, you shed it like a snake sheds its skin. But this is a TV sci-fi series and surely can't become reality. According to Randall Cohn, a neuroscientist and co-founder of Carbon Copies Foundation, most likely it can. 
Most scientists agree that everything about our mind and consciousness awareness comes about due to the operations carried out by the biological machinery of the brain. So if we can understand those operations and implement them elsewhere, then that new implementation will again produce the mind and consciousness awareness we know to be ourself. And there's even a startup company who claim to be working on this. Humani is an AI technology company, and their CEO Josh Bocanegra says his team will resurrect their first human within 30 years. Bocanegra explained in 2015, we're using artificial intelligence and nanotechnology to store data of conversational styles, behavioral patterns, thought processes, and information about how your body functions from the inside out. This data will be coded into multiple sensor technologies, which will be built into an artificial body with the brain of a deceased human. Using cloning technology, we will restore the brain as it matures. Can Humani really achieve this? After he made those statements, there was a lot of backlash online, with established scientists saying that we are a long way from being able to do this, and it's still only philosophized in conversations. So maybe Bocanegra is jumping the gun a little. Andrea Riposati, an artificial intelligence expert formerly employed at Amazon, said Bocanegra's plan is both hoax and could be a very effective way to rob people. There certainly seems to be a lot of debate and opinion on this subject though. 122 is currently the maximum age. We are yet to see if someone will live longer to tell the tale. Do you think we'll be able to be older in the future? And if so, how old? Let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other video, Things Old People Say That They Regret. Thanks for watching, and as always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.